you're obviously knowing that you're doing something uh, that's that could get you caught, and that there's some repercussions from it. How are you dealing with those emotions? Did they cross your mind? Is it something you thought about? Were you like, you know, was it the risk reward, or did you were you sort of naive to think, well, you know, I, I won't get caught. I mean, that's that's a classic one. Where were you at on that scale? Yeah, I, I, I believe that I was super smart. So if I had X amount of surplus cash, I'd go to one of my friends that had a car dealership, um, buy a car for 10 grand, sell it for 9,005, put the money in the bank, or maybe sell the car for 10, five and make 500 pound. Um, so I, I was kind of one step ahead in terms of, I'm not going to get caught, not blase, but if I've done a transaction and the, the narcotics have gone, and the cash is gone, and on to the next one. And was it purely like was it a case of initially you'd started off like you were you weren't holding stuff particularly long. You were you know you're you're picking it up, you're dropping it off, you're collecting the cash, and then you're putting that cash somewhere else. Like was that where it stayed, or did it develop? Did it start to escalate? No, I I think I, I was always very well aware that I was either a good middleman or a good connection or a trustworthy guy or something in between i don't think it ever got to the stage where i had oh, twenty thousand here and fifty thousand here and i've got 10 rolexes i was never that sort of character whilst the guys that i knew and worked with and so on and so forth and over to dubai and well up the well up the ladder you know i, I, I the real the real wealth came from when i came out of jail and um, kind of dipped my toe in the water ever so slightly in terms of the monetary side of things. Um, that That's when things really, I was really, oh, when I was in jail, I really understood where I was, which was medium sort of level um, to the guys that was importing it, working with Colombo, Colombians over in uh, Amsterdam, over in Belgium, and, um, you know, you're, you're not far off. I'm not saying in terms of wealth, but you're not far off knowing a, knowing a guy that knows a guy that is making, you know, hundreds of millions every other day. 